the cabin. So recently, I purchased a piece of land. Had about a hundred acres. It had a small hunting cabin on it. There was no other houses around it. Mostly state forest. There was one road in and one road out. It was a beautiful mountain area. Mostly pine trees. A lot of wilderness. Try so drove down to see what the cabin was like. I opened the door. It was a little dirty inside from sitting. All I needed was to clean up. It had a nice wood stove in it. It had a small pile of wood in it. So I was happy that I didn't have to really flip much. It had a nice room upstairs. In, you know, I mean, it's a small little hut. You could probably live in it if you wanted to, but that upstairs room's got windows. So it'd be pretty good for hunting deer right out the window. So about a week later, I decided I wanted to go up and see if I can get any deer. Plus, I wanted to stay in the cabin and see what it was like up there. Since I was new to that land, I just bought it. So I drove one down. It was about 50 degrees that day. The low was 30, so I knew as soon as I got there, I'd have to light the wood stove. I took my chainsaw and split them all with me. So I can cut some wood and then split it. The time I got there, it, was, it started to get dark. It must have been around 7 o'clock. Got the wood stove lit. It started warming up in there. I started cleaning everything. I started making it look nice in there. I bought, I had a little teeny U-Haul trailer. So I could bring all my stuff up. I just rented for a couple days. So I got everything unpacked. It was looking real nice. I had my pixels in the wall. I had nice, like, you know, them, them deal pixels and the raccoons, and foxes. I had them kind of pixels. I thought they looked pretty cool in that cabin. Since it is a hunting cabin, I had that place looking nice. I kept stoking the fire. And then, I went up and wanted to go to bed, because by the time I got it down packed and the house cleaned, it was 11 o'clock, so I was tired. So I went on to sleep, woke up the next morning, it was cold in that camp cabin, so I had to light the wood stove again, because it went out. I went out. Cut some wood up and do some more in it. And by that time, I noticed something on my truck. There was three scratch marks on the bed and the tailgate of the truck. And they weren't there, and they were deep too. So that kind of freaked me out. I mean, that was a brand new truck. That made me mad, too. I, I figured it might have been bail. But we do have grizzly bears up here, so. That's what I kind of wondered, but. I thought they had more claws than just three. So that kept me skeptical. So I kind of just forgot about it. I was so mad about the scratch marks in my new truck. I had to run to town. I figured I'd probably to drop off the U-Haul trailer. So when I stay up at my cabin, I ain't got to worry about delivering it on time. So I dropped it off. Got some more supplies, got some food. All kinds of stuff. A couple boxes of ammo. Just in case the bail might come back, I might have to shoot it. Because them grizzly bears are all mean, and they will attack you. I've even seen where they bust in people's houses. So I knew I had to be prepared for one of them. I bought some ammo, and then I started heading back to the cabin. And it started raining out. 
As soon as I got to the cabin, I found out quick that the roof was leaking. So I had to buy some tarps. I had to run back out of town, buy tarps, and come back. I put two tarps on the roof. That stopped the leak immediately. But that explained why it was so dirty inside. It smelled like mildew because the roof was leaking the whole time. So after that, got the wood stove lit again. I was out cutting wood. When I noticed something way off in the tree line that caught my eye. So I walked over there. On a tree, about 10 foot up on a tree, there were three deep claw marks. The same ones that was into my truck. So whatever it was, was tall. Really tall. So it kind of made me wonder, is this really a bear I'm dealing with? But I have seen some pretty big bears and tall ones. So, once again, I thought it was a bear. So I went back to cutting wood again. Night time started coming. I went in the cabin, do some more wood in the wood stove. And I went upstairs and I was looking through the window with my big flashlight. I had a spotlight. I was signing through the wood lines, keep an eye out around my truck. When I seen a set of eyes off in the distance, they were blood red eyes and they looked to be pretty tall so I grabbed my binoculars and was, I was looking in the tree line my spotlight with the binoculars on when I seen the eyes again but this time I seen them even further away and my binoculars I even had them on at the same time and it was even further so whatever it was, knew I was looking for it. Even though I was just looking, I was scanning the area. But it thought I was looking for it. Which I kind of was, but I wasn't really looking for it. And then I kind of seen, I looked at the spotlight one more time and I seen the eyes. And it disappeared again. After about five more minutes of scanning, I didn't see nothing else. So I, ha I had my gun loaded and lay next to the bed, just in case. When I heard a slight knock on the door. So I ran downstairs with my gun to see what the heck knocked on my door. I knew nobody could be out at this time. Or on this property because it was far out. So I opened the door and nothing there. Except I looked in the, the door and there was three claw marks all the way on the top of the door. I thought I'm, I could have heard, like if it was scratching the door, but it knocked like one time. So that was even weirder. You'd think it would, you'd heard a scratch noise, but it was just a knock. So I was up with all night, wondering if that thing's gonna come back or not. I eventually fell asleep and we'd be woken up again to another knock at the door. This one was even louder. It sounded more aggressive. I went downstairs, gun drawn, opened the door. Nothing there.
I looked in the back of the door to see if any more scratch marks. There were there wasn't no more scratch marks on the door, except the old pair. I got my spotlight and I walked out in front of the cabin and started looking through the tree line. I seen red eyes staring at me. And they were close this time. I grabbed my rifle and I shot at it. I didn't shoot it, not because I didn't really know what it was, but I shot at it. It probably heard the bullet go by its head. It didn't even move. It started getting closer. So I blasted around in it this time. And as soon as I did that, it disappeared. I don't know where it went. It disappeared out of nowhere. Next morning, I walked out and looked. There wasn't even no blood or nothing. The things that would happen next is scary. You never think this stuff would happen to you, but it happened to me. This story is to be continued.